uh, the, I, and fight me on this, but the greatest animated show, the funniest animated show on television, bar none without a doubt, but also easily the best animated show on Adult Swim, Cartoon Network's Adult Swim. Hello, Big Show nerds. Uh, with all of the things going on on the platforms and all of the channels and stuff, I have not been able to reset up the studio the way it was. That is going to be fixed very, very soon, but I still had to get the news show out. My apologies that it is a day late, but I was doing a big project that was paying me, so I had to focus on that yesterday. Uh, today, though, we are jumping into the news. We have quite the show for you. Be sure you stay tuned to all of the Big Show platforms for all of the other stuff that we're doing to make news instead of just reporting on it. Uh, but all of that being said, let's get into the headlines. <sighs> so let's talk... TV streaming. Uh, TV streaming, we do have one piece of follow-up, and it is The Boys. Uh, they have been coming under a lot of pressure recently because they just released the first three episodes of this new season. And that's it, because apparently they're going to be doing uh, episode drops every Friday. So here in a couple of days, we'll get another couple episodes, presumably maybe just one. Who knows? They haven't, they didn't make it known to anyone before they did this. So I don't know. They, it's it is apparently the production staff of The Boys that is to blame for this, though, and not Amazon Prime. Amazon wanted them to keep their same business model, according to a recent uh, media release, a press release, whatever. Uh, so that's what we have in follow-ups. Now we're going to talk about the actual news. And first, actually, no, we have one other follow-up. I apologize. We have one other, one other follow-up, and that is Chucky. Uh, Chucky was just announced to be delayed until 2021 on Sci-Fi and uh, T TNT, whatever the other channel was that picked them up. Uh, they have been delayed until 2021 because coronavirus. All right, so now we are getting into the actual news. And the actual news says, uh, first and foremost, Venture Brothers, uh, the, uh, and fight me on this, but the greatest animated show, uh, the funniest animated show on television, bar none without a doubt, but also easily the best animated show on Adult Swim, Cartoon Network's Adult Swim, has officially been canceled. Not exactly hard to see why it's been canceled, because they've done seven seasons over the course of 16 years, because Doc Hammer and Jackson Public are notorious procrastinators, though Rick and Morty has also seen not quite as severe, but kind of similar gaps between episodes. So I guess it's not entirely out of the realm of, you know, may, maybe we should keep you on. But there is light at the end of the tunnel because parent company CBS Vi Viacom, no, who was it? Warner Brothers, I believe. Two seconds, yes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Cartoon Network said that they are looking to find other ways to continue the Venture Brothers story. Um... This all is taking place over... It, it, no, it's Warner Brothers. Okay, sorry. Wow, seven different things just ran through my head. I apologize for the dead air. So, uh, I didn't put it in the notes, but I do know that it is HBO Max that is very likely where it's going to end up. So, we are looking at Warner Brothers as the parent company uh, saying through Cartoon Network that they are looking for other avenues to continue telling the story of the Venture Brothers. And we all know that all streaming services are desperate for content these days. So, it does not make, it does not sound too uh, out of the left field for them to want to put this onto their streaming platform because that gives them a little bit more leeway. But this also could be amazing if true because then we get an uncensored, legitimately uncensored version of the Venture Brothers when it initially runs. So excited about that if it is the way that things go. But as it stands right now, we have no more Venture Brothers until this gets worked out. So we're moving on. Uh, next, we're talking about Nosferatu. This is, uh, could have, should have gone in uh, the, the follow-ups, and I do apologize, but Nosferatu has been canceled by AMC after only two seasons. Next is Superman, and this is not super, I, I only put this here because it's technically episodic content. It is not technically television, 
it is kind of sort of technically streaming, so it falls under that category, but it is not the new uh, Superman and Lois CW show. This is uh, actually something very, very old. So DC Fandom is uh, starting to promote day two, which is September 12th, happens this weekend. Uh, you can go see all of that stuff. You go to dcfandom.com, but I don't think this is listed on the official site for the entire 24 hours that they are doing this uh, DC Fandom, which this could could potentially be one of the things that made this happen over the course of two days. Uh, they will be streaming. I can't, I couldn't find where. So if I can find that, I will definitely post that uh, somewhere else. Follow me on Twitter. I'll, I'll, I'll find it and put it up there. Or we'll talk about it in the next episode. But uh, they will be streaming old 1940s Superman radio shows. Now, that that's really interesting in and of itself, but it's even more interesting because they re-recorded them with modern actors. If you want the full cast list, then follow the link in the description, but uh, just to kind of skim the cream off the crop, uh, we have Daniel Day Kim will be voicing Superman. That's right. The Man of Steel will be voiced by Daniel Day Kim for these 1940s radi re redone radio shows, and that sounds freaking awesome to me. That's what we've got there. Next, we're moving over to a new series that is going to be coming to the CW, and it is called GG. Uh, so, good game in gamer speak, if you will. It is going to be CW, and this sounds like it is further along in development than the uh, the the professional esports sitcom that is coming from the mind of Johnny Glecky, kind of. He's a producer, and he's also the like the one of the peripheral characters in that, but we haven't heard anything from that for a while, so presumably that's somewhere in development hell. This one, however, GG, uh, this is going to be a drama, so very interesting. I, I, I feel like it's hopefully, hopefully this turns out well and we see something that is accurate to the industry, but I feel like it's kind of about time that we get something that's more nerd and video game related because video games are such a large portion of the consumed entertainment media that we go through anymore. So totally makes sense. The, uh, it, the premise is it's following a female in the video game development industry. She is a developer by all accounts. Uh, the synopsis didn't really explicitly lay out what it, what exactly that means because game development encompasses a lot of different different jobs. So what she does, who freaking knows until they get a little bit more specific with their, syn their synopsis, but it's, this is very potentially going to be something great or even equally is potentially going to be something absolutely terrible because it is such a misrepresentation of the culture and the industry. Uh, we will definitely be keeping tabs on it right here on the show, though. We're moving on. Next, we're talking about Silk, and Sony is actually moving forward with a Silk TV show. They are really leaning into that spider man list universe, and uh, it sounds like they're looking to put this out on an actual terrestrial television station, and then presumably the following day, much like we get with Hulu, uh, FX stuff on Hulu, they will be releasing it on Amazon. Uh, all of this is very much still being worked on, but this does come from a pretty a reliable enough source that I'm putting it in news and not in rumors, right? So we've we've got almost 100% confirmation that that is the way it's going to go. Things are still in motion, so it could change. We will definitely be keeping tabs on this as well. And next, we are moving over to the last piece, which is also kind of gaming related. Uh, this one has to do with Shenmue. Uh, Sega is working on a Shenmue anime with Crunchyroll and Adult Swim. So it will be, presumably because of the in inclusion of Crunchyroll, it will be a an overseas animated series. Uh, very likely, be I mean, Sega, so Japan. Um, but they're, they'll be importing it to the States through Adult Swim, probably through both. So if you have HBO Max and you have Crunchyroll or some sort of variation thereof, uh, then you will be able to watch it there or on Adult Swim. So I, yeah, cool, awesome. Great job. Moving on. Next, we're talking about movies, baby. We got uh, just one piece. Actually, no, I, I apologize. We have two pieces in movies. Uh, I didn't know where else to put this follow-up piece because it could theoretically go in like three of the sections because it 
honestly covers everything, and that is New York Comic Con. Obviously, New York Comic Con is not going to happen in a traditional sense, so they're calling it the multiverse. Okay. Uh, and they have started releasing programming things that are going to be happening, panels, so on and so forth. Uh, the thing that I wanted to talk about, because the, until we get the set concrete list of times and how you can watch and all that stuff, we do know it's going to be the 8th through the 11th of uh, November, but until all of the individual panels and such have been set in stone, I'm not going to be talking about that. What we are going to be talking about right now is the interactivity. So one of the big things about DC Fandom is everything has been re pre-recorded. So there's no possibility for fan interaction. With New York Comic Con's multiverse, we are going to be seeing fan interactivity because all of the panels are going to be live streamed to the fans on the Comic Con, on the New York Comic Con YouTube channel. So if you want to interact with the, the panel, if you want to ask a question when it comes time for Q&A, then you can with New York Comic Con. So I feel like they're taking what DC did and potentially uh, a bit of a step up on DC and I hopefully it plans out just like they're hoping it will and just like I'm hoping it will but that is the only piece of follow-up and then we have another piece that is in news that is kind of a follow-up but is kind of also brand new so that's why it's not really a follow-up and that is Alien! The Alien franchise from Ridley Scott will apparently be continuing however there is always a caveat and that caveat this time is that uh, he is saying that we will not likely be revisiting any of the content from Covenant or from Prometheus. Um, mm, that's a little okay. But we do know that they are early, early, early in pre-production for the next installment in the franchise and Ridley Scott is going to be a part of it. So there is a lot good going for it as well. That is all we have for movies though. Rumor mill, baby. We got to hit these rumors and we got to hit them hard and we got to hit them fast. So, rumor mill. We have Constantine. Uh, rumor has it that the HBO Max series that still has not been officially announced, even though we do have Justice League Dark that has been officially announced, so presumably it'll be the same actor in the two of them. Either way, the rumor is that they have cast their version of Constantine and it is not Keanu Reeves or Matt Ryan. So... Fanboys, beware. Uh, it's just a rumor. Don't kill me. <laughs> Next in the rumor, we are talking about the Suicide Squad. Rumor is now that we have people who have seen test screenings and they know a lot of stuff, there are leaks. So these are unconfirmed, but very potentially. Oh, oh before we go into this, uh, likelihood that they've cast somebody that is not Keanu Reeves or Matt Ryan. I Yeah, pretty, pretty solid. I'm going to say that's about 60% likelihood that neither of those two actors will reprise their role as Constantine on HBO Max. So there you go. Uh, so next is Suicide Squad. Again, people are quote unquote leaking who the big bad is for the movie and also what Taika Waititi's role is in the movie. So we have two things for likelihood. First up is the big bad is reportedly going to be Starro. And then the Taika Waititi role is reportedly going to be the original Ratcatcher. Because if you remember from all the promotional materials that we've seen so far, is it's not Ratcatcher, it's Ratcatcher 2. So, likelihood for these. I feel like Starro is just obscure enough that James Gunn was like, yeah, let's do this. So, I'm... I'm I have no other way of confirming that, but we do know James Gunn's tendencies, so that's totally a 50% possibility. I think that is well within the wheelhouse of what we're dealing with here. Uh, next, as far as Taika Waititi's role as the original rat catcher, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really going out on a limb, because again, I have no way of confirming this, but I, yeah. Taika Waititi, rat catcher number one. 70% likelihood. We know he's in the movie. That's already been made known. They haven't shown him in any of the in any of the teaser stuff. It would totally be an interesting cameo if he was Ratcatcher 1. So yeah, 70%. All right, so moving right along, we're talking about The Witcher, and we have Jason Momoa seemingly confirming his involvement with The Witcher. No, that is not at all what is going on. Uh, if you saw the picture that Momoa posted to his Instagram, and you thought for some reason that that meant he's going to be in the prequel series. I feel like you read that wrong. <laughs> I'm giving this a 0% because it is totally Momoa obviously trolling and obviously thinking it's funny because the picture that was posted was fan art. So he 
put the rolling laughing emojis multiple times at the end of what he posted, totally not what he was doing. He's not confirming his involvement with the prequel series. Uh, so we're moving on next. I'm talking about Black Panther 2 with the unfortunate early passing of Chadwick Boseman. Man, I, I just got to slow this down for a second because that really sucked. Uh, we now are hearing rumors that Disney is putting things into place that really we've been hearing rumors that were going to happen a little bit further down the road. This is just expedited their plans. What am I talking about? The, the Shuri takeover of the Black Panther mantle is going to happen in Black Panther 2. And again, reportedly, the uh, the character of T'Challa will die sometime between Black Panther 1 and Black Panther 2 off screen, obviously, because they can't use Chadwick Boseman. So uh, likelihood of this, uh, again, 70%. This seems very much like a safe bet for Disney. So absolutely feel like this is going to be the way of things. Uh, next piece of rumor news is Splinter Cell. So we, it's not a game. Oh no, it is a gaming rumor. Sorry. Uh, so Splinter Cell, we have uh, Ubisoft is going to be doing their non E3 event later this week. Uh, and the at this non E3 event, they're calling it Ubisoft Forward. They are going to announce, according to this rumor, they are going to announce a new Splinter Cell for next generation consoles. It has been a long time since Sam Fisher has been to work, so I really want this to be a thing, considering the source. I'm only able to put this at about a 30% likelihood, and honestly, it's only that high because I really want it to happen. If I'm being 100% honest with myself, it's probably more like a 15% likelihood that it's gonna happen, but we will see when uh, Ubisoft Forward happens. So our next piece and our second to last piece is also gaming rumor, and it is the Xbox, uh, Xbox One S? No, 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 I'm sorry. It's the... Xbox Series S. There we go. Xbox One S is already out. <laughs> Xbox Series S, the long rumored uh, console, has re has received another leak. And in response to this, between when I did the research and now when I'm going filming, uh, we are now seeing that yes, that is in fact going to be the thing. So I can't even put a likelihood percentage on this because it's 100% been confirmed from Microsoft. So we know the Series S is going to be a thing. We also know that the Series S is going to be $299 and the Series X is going to be $499. So, yeah, your move, PlayStation. And then our final piece in rumor rumor news is Mandalorian Season 2. Remember, we reported on a rumor last time. It's been so long ago, I can't remember. But we reported on a rumor about Mandalorian Season 2 and how they are meeting some, running into some snags and how there's potentially going to be a drastic shift uh, in about halfway through the season. We have more rumors around this very same thing. And now they're saying that the reason for the shift has something to do with Pedro Pascal, uh, because uh, again, presumably there was some sort of conflict of interest, conflict of personalities more likely uh, between Pedro and somebody in charge over at Lucasfilm Disney. It is also being reported that or rumored that whatever that issue was has now been mended. So as of season three, because season two has been done filming for a little while, but as of season three, the issue will be taken care of and it won't be an issue. But the way it's going to affect season two, again, rumored, uh, is that it is going to see the second half of the season shift focus from the Mandalorian, from Pedro Pascal, to other characters. We have heard rumor, or we have heard interviews, rather, with the likes of Jon Favreau and such, that the second half of the season is going to be different than the first half. Favreau didn't specifically say what differences are going to happen, so we have to rely on the rumor to fill in the gaps. Uh, and as far as the likelihood on this one, I really feel like this is because of the Favreau interview that just came out, I think it was Entertainment Weekly, uh, I, I'm putting this one right at the 75%. There is very little room, wiggle room for this to not be accurate at this point. So it is still technically rumor though, so 75% likelihood that it is going to be that way. That, nerds, has all we got for the rumor mill. 
And that does it for this episode of Headlines Nerds. For a more in-depth conversation on the news in general, you can join me for the full news show over on my personal YouTube channel, Generally Nerdy. While you're here, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on all of the big show entertainment media platforms, especially the YouTube channel. We are doing that very large giveaway once we hit 1,000 subscribers. So uh, do all of the things. Thank you for the support. Check out the website, BlackLionEndeavorsCorporation.com, for all of the other stuff that is not necessarily necessarily big show related and tune in next time for all that's happening across the nerd world.